Hey guys, it's Geeky Chick and today we're going to check out the new update in Disney Magical Days. Just a reminder guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you don't miss out on any videos that I upload. So there was a new update in the game. I just wanted to let you guys know because for like a quick second I was confused about this. For iOS users, they push the updates like I guess straight through the game like we don't always see the updates in the iOS store but when you log into the game it'll ask you to download more content and then in the little announcement area it will tell you kind of like the patch notes and what's been added to the game um, just so you guys know it won't always reflect in the app store that we got an update but so here I have the um, forums up and I wanted to take a look at it they had some patch notes from a few days ago but we have Aunt Elsa and Anna have been released. And um, here are their stats. I believe this is their their stats maxed. One thing I will like, or I do like, is that, um, is it Anna? I thought it was Anna. Anna, yeah, Anna has 3% trophy bonus, and then Elsa has the, uh, where is it? 3% gold bonus. I like the trophy bonus and that's one reason I've been using Pooh Bear. So hope I'm gonna compare her stats to Pooh Bear um, after we get her. Right now there's two new packages released. There is the 9.99 one which we're gonna check out in this video. 100 diamonds, two great character select their bonuses and 100,000 gold which is pretty sweet and then they you have to be level 5 or above to uh, get these packages then there's the luxury package $50 you get 500 diamonds one great character select one great collector selector box but it's times 10 so I'm not sure how that works and then tier 6 legendary box I'm not quite sure it says one and do you get 10 of that one character? That might be what it is. Then character advantage unlock adjusted. Um, they basically, if great figures will have a lower level to unlock their advantages. And yes, now that we have the new characters, they have a better chance of appearing inside the gold and silver boxes. Okay, so let's get into the game. Um, where did I want to start off at? One thing I did want to remember to tell you guys that when I looked at the the chest, not the, yeah, that Belle and Beast are still available. So is Lumiere and Cogsworth. And I was kind of worried that they weren't going to be available at all after this, but it looks like they are still in the shop. I mean, in the chest. So that's a good thing. Um... We haven't had any gold figure rotation there. Um, inventory. Pooh is still in the credit shop. Uh, but I don't see... I'm not sure. Was Lumiere and Cogsworth ever in the credit shop? But I don't see them here for that. But let's go ahead and check out the 10... Oh, let me get back home. The $10 deal. All right, 100 diamonds added. That puts us at a thousand. Nice. And then probably, yep, here we go. So we get to pick one. Um, I want to go with Anna. Okay, so I, I know, like, <laughs> this is so bad. Because normally I would just get both poo, but I do want to get the new characters. So I know I'm going to go with Anna. And we'll go with Elsa just because. I mean, I've been buying... Um, Pooh Bear in the credit shops and that's been working well also. So we'll go with Elsa. Elsa and Anna. We'll put them both. And then we'll collect the 100,000 gold. Friend gifts. Can I send out friend gifts? Not for another 20 minutes. Alright, so let's look at our inventory. So I want to compare Anna to so we're gonna change so obviously my poo is level six so it's going to go down um, I want to know it seems like this is trophy bonus is already available oh you know what I wonder if this is because of the changes because I didn't and 
have his trophy bonus. That wasn't until like skill eight. And so it's available now, which is really nice. So I'll probably keep going Mapu just because his stats are so high. But so he has 190 and 215 and she has 192 and 218. So as far as those numbers, they're pretty much the same. Um, the one I care most about is Magic Roll Chance and then probably Arcade Win. And that's, that's 78 and 52 for her. And his is 50 and 75. So it's a little bit higher, um, but not by much. So these characters are still very similar. Um, let me see what her... 100% um, chance to be exempt from rent when landing on an opponent's square. Mm, that sounds kind of crazy. What? 100% chance to be exempt from rent. Your figure. What? <laughs> That's kind of insane. And then if you own the snow mound square, rent is times two. So this is good for the frozen board. Hers, level your figure up to the required level to 40% rent hike on your squares on the, oh, so that's kind of good. So, and if you own castle courtyard, times two. Um, I really, really, really want to know more, but gosh, we'd have to get her to level three and there's gotta be some kind of extra condition to that. Maybe we'll get, if we get her to level three, we'll see more on that. So let's go ahead and play a game with Anna. We'll do a 1v1 on the frozen board. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1v1 on the frozen board. Game start. Selecting order. You're going second. Double four. Seven. Fortune card. Your turn. Five. Double. Ten. Six. Three. Your turn. 
four. Destination. Nine. 